Hello everyone, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. <laughs> I just love the creepy things that reverberate in your mind when you're in the menu. I love this game. Well, guess what I'm drinking again? Mmm. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know why that made me cough. More chai tea. You know? I think drinking chai tea is one of the most relaxing things you can do. Aside from just tasting amazing, there's just something very relaxing about it. Just something so aromatic and warm. It's wonderful. I think this could even be maybe like a meditation technique, you know? If someone's suffering from stress or something like that, give them some chai tea and have them play Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. It's very relaxing. Okay, well maybe one of those things is relaxing. I don't know if playing Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth is very relaxing. Maybe not. I don't know though, I, I think it's pretty relaxing. I like this part, like this part makes it, yeah. See, that's my favorite part. Wait a minute, that didn't kill me? Okay, there we go, now I'm dead. It's a very relaxing game. And it's also really freaking loud here, oh my god. Also, I realize that it might be hard to hear me during sections like this where it's really loud, but... I actually intentionally leave the game audio fairly loud. Um... For a couple reasons. One is just because the game's audio is obviously very important to the atmosphere and the mood of the game. And the other reason is that if... If the game is really loud and it's hard to hear me, then that's because it's supposed to be loud. That's my thinking, anyway. I mean, I'm... I'm right next to, like, the raging sea. And as you'd expect, the raging sea is very loud, exactly as it should be. So, I mean, just imagine if you were in a like, location like this, and you had the raging sea pressing itself against the wall right in front of you, splashing and spraying, it would be extremely loud, and if you tried to talk to anyone like I'm talking right now, it would be very hard to be heard. So, I leave it that way because it's actually supposed to be loud. I don't know, I think it enhances it? I don't know. Can't really say exactly, but I hope it does. So yes, I kind of have to shout. Just even to hear myself. What the hell is this? It's like a little hiding hole. Am I gonna have to hide from something? Oh, God damn it, I did not mean to do that. Okay, um... Alright, so I obviously need to turn that off by getting the handle, so that's my first goal. Step number one, get the handle to turn off the traps, I think. I hope. So, is there anywhere else to go here? Nope. Alright, let's go back. Let's just avoid those spikes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, where the hell am I going to find a handle? I also need a stone disc or something like that. Oh, wait a minute. That's Yeah, there's the other pathway. The sacrifice place. Oh, God. <laughs> Not those things again. Okay. I'm going to the sacrifice place. All right, this is going to break off somewhere. Right there. Whew. I think I'm hearing the thoughts of the drunk, or the... I'm hearing a flashback to when the drunken person talked to me. Yep, I just saw the stone disc. Yep, there we go. Oh, a bunch of them. Um, when did that happen? That's not going to be me, is it? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is where they made offerings. They chained people up. 
these shackles would have been used to chain people to the rock. Yep. A strangely carved disc. Is that a body of one of the deep ones? Floating in there? I think it is. Okay, the whirling um, flashback of the voice of the drunk is actually kind of humorous sounding for some reason. It's actually really funny. Platforming like a pro, oh yeah. Alright, we gotta go through the evil starfish. Please don't suck on my face. Ow. What did I just tell you to do? Ah. <sighs> Okay. A lead disc with a ceremonial inscription. Yep, this is a door. Is that... Wow! Damn! Ugh. This lever is the only object in the hoard of treasures not constructed from gold. There's even a gold-like Cthulhu head or something. God, look at that. Too bad none of it's gonna save my ass. Money is no use in, in Devil's Reef. I doubt he is the only one to have suffered sacrifice in this chamber. Alright, well, I'm losing my mind again. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Seriously, is there a way to avoid those? I mean, what if you were near death? Would you just have to die by going past them? Is there no way to avoid them at all? Okay. Let's turn off these damn traps. You don't turn them off, you just, um, don't even hit them in the first place. That's cool, same effect, doesn't really matter. I think I'm gonna break my legs if I jump down there, so I'm gonna go the proper way. Oh, it's timed. Well, that means I can only go forwards, but not back. And let's go for it. Ah. Okay. Uh, what does that do? I think it's on the timer. Oh, never mind. There is a way back. All right, I need to hold on for dear life here. This is a nasty storm. Ah. Ah, and here's where this comes in handy. Pulley. I have to say, his grip on that pulley looked far too light for my comfort. It looks like he was barely touching it. Like he was daintily holding on for his life. I sense a puzzle. I see buttons and stuff. Until I know what it's for, 
I'm not touching anything. That is very wise. I don't understand the symbols. I can't pick it up. The claws are locking the gem firmly in place. Why is the audio cut off in like unlike almost every bit of audio that plays from the characters? Not it doesn't seem like every single bit of audio is cut off, but most. Alright, so I'm guessing doing this probably opens this, which allows me to take the green thing and do something. What is this? Until I know what it's for, I'm not touching anything. It appears to be a map. You need to press a button to activate the seat. Oh, do I just can you please explain? What am I supposed? It appears to be a map. You need to press a button to activate the seek. Okay, so I vaguely remember this. It appears to be a map. Yes, I know. You need to press a button to activate the seek. There's an intricate design carved into the button. It must have held some sort of decor. Wait a minute. Don't I have? Wait, this. Ruth's, uh, brooch. Or bro- is it pronounced brooch or brooch? I mean, it looks like brooch, but I think it's brooch. <laughs> yep, the gold is an odd whitish color. Just like the stuff I saw in the, uh, the vaults. Yep. Well, that's lucky. I think I've activated some kind of timed mechanism. I like how the, like, chase music is playing as if I'm supposed to be running right now. I don't even know what to do yet. It's weird that it... It's weird that it let me take it, though. Alright, well, I just picked up the green thing, and there's a green thing here, so I'm guessing I'm starting from here, and I need to go along these, uh, this pathway on the timer and get to the red thing. Oh, wait a minute. I already have a red... I don't even remember where I got the red gem from. Should I have picked that up? Can I put it back? The button isn't responding. Wait, what? Did I just screw myself? Oh, never mind. Alright, let me see if I can put it back. You... Can. The gem doesn't go on this pedestal. Okay, but you don't put that one back, so why do I have the green one? I don't know, see what the... What the hell? Uh, what? Why is there a glowing jewel on the ground? I can't pick it up. Alright, well, I don't have the pulley anymore, so... All right, let's try this again. The button isn't responding. The button isn't responding. The button isn't responding. Come on. The button isn't responding. It appears to be a map. You need to press a button to activate the sequence. The button isn't responding. The claws are shut. I can't position the gem. There we go, okay. What did it do and how the hell do I get out of here? I can't make that jump, can I? I don't think I can. Wait a minute, is that a ledge? <laughs> That's a ledge. Okay, hold on. Alright, I need to scout this out and figure out exactly where I'm going. I think I need to follow the red glowy jewel things. Uh, why are there glowy red jewel things on the ground? I don't even know. Very strange. Alright, so I should re- Yeah, they went off. So I should reach a dead end at some point, that I can only get past if I had the thing activated, I would think. What did I just hear? Oh, those things. Uh, it's a creepy dark cave? Another one- where the hell am I going? Alright, so I guess it's like a maze-like thing. 
Well, hi. That just goes in a circ. No, that's somewhere new. I'm pretty sure that's death down there. I'm pretty sure it doesn't lead to a cavern filled with pillows, that's for sure. Ow. Am I? Oh, shit. They have poison, don't they? That was a mistake. Wow, those crabs are actually far more challenging than the people with guns. Alright, I'm fine, but I'm really low on medical supplies. Another cavern full of death. Right, how do I get back over them? Wait a minute, can I shoot them? Did I kill it? Okay. Let's use my shitty shotgun for this. Yeah, let's clear them out. Okay. Now, let's go back and press that button. Uh, can I uncrouch, please? There we go. What the hell? Stop crouching. There we go. Okay, hopefully I just follow the glowy bits. We shall find out. Alright, glowy bit, glowy bit, glowy bit. Alright, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, 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 I think it's working. Okay. Now I think I need to put the red one here. I seriously don't remember where I got the red gem from at all. Oh, it's going to close back up when the sequence finishes. Okay, so I just need to wait. Yep, there we go. So, um... Uh, now what? Oh, I need to put the other one back, don't I? It's a statue of Hydra. It's a statue of Dagon. Without the missile I lodged in... Wait a minute. The thing I fought on the boat was Dagon? That was Dagon? Oh. Alright, yeah, let's go put the green one back. See if I can remember where this is. Eh, probably not. You come around the. Eh, I might actually be able to remember it. I'm not sure. <laughs> All Okay. Actually, yeah, I don't even have to remember it because it just shows me. Okay. God, this chai tea is so good. Mmm. Bingo! Ooh, things are getting a bit fishier. And alien-er. Where the hell am I? I think this is like that alien, alien-looking world. 
that I saw in my vision. Except it's actually on this world, it's on Earth. Right? Isn't this like the thing that was, um... God, what did it say? Uh, like they were sealed underneath? Uh, like they sealed something? I don't know, my memory's terrible. They're creatures of wind or something, like they have control over the wind? Welp. Not going that way. Into the wind tunnel it is. Things are about to get drafty. That is one hell of a... There's heavy gusts of air coming from the hole. That's a hell of a lot of power right there. Whew, that's one hell of a drop. I didn't hear it hit the button. In fact, I think that's actually powerful enough to keep me from hitting at a speed, uh, hitting the ground at a speed that would kill me. So let's go. I love this game so much. The air-filled tunnels. <laughs> that was a close call. It stopped right before he hit. Any other time and he'd be dead. If that stopped five seconds before he hit the ground, he'd be dead. Alright, how much ammo do I have? Quite a bit of that, quite a bit of that, quite a bit of pretty much everything. Well, that looks alien. I've got to shut down that barrier. Ah, a submarine is trying to attack the underwater city. But they can't get through. You know, this place is actually so alien, alien looking that my memory from when I played this told me that this was on an alien world. I actually thought we went to like another universe or something. Or another dimension or something to enter this place, but apparently it's on Earth. So that means this world is so alien that my memory actually twisted it to make me think it, we were literally on an alien planet or universe. Huh, it's actually kind of interesting. memories. So malleable. If I remember right, pretty soon at some point there's a certain thing that happens. Yeah, that's real specific, huh? A certain thing that happens at some point. Durr. Returns. 
so soon. Never mind that. Where the hell is Robert? LeBron has been leading the children in prayer with Mother. We don't have time for this religious nonsense. There are troops packing the streets, and the order's been completely overrun. It won't be too long before they find out about this place. I've made certain the temple's well protected. There's plenty of men patrolling the main hallway in prison. Good. The barrier has got to hold. Keep on your guard and check the entrance from the reef. I'm going to the lab. I'd better keep my head down. I've got a much better chance of survival if they don't know I'm here. Yep. Yeah, um, we are going to intimately get to know the prison pretty soon, trust me. Okay, let's just avoid you. In these air-filled air tunnels will take place one of the most frustrating sequences in the entire game. Actually, no, two of them. Two of the most frustrating sequences in the entire game. Uh, can I get past him? Where's it gonna go back up? Okay, okay. Okay. It's written in some kind of ancient language. Well, let's translate. According to the text, the gateway can only be activated by those bearing a sacred charm and uttering an ancient chant. Hmm. Do I have a sacred charm? No, I don't. Also, by the way, what is this antidote? Or a morphine? What is this for? I've never used it in the entire game. Helps block pain, but should be used with extreme caution. I'm like, what, seven hours into the game and I still have never used this and I don't know what it does? What is it? Is it like a temporary way to get you through pain when you're low on medical supplies or something? Oh shit. Well, there's a medical kit and some ammo just sitting on the ground, but I can't exactly get it. What, really? I can't figure out what it says? Okay. Alright, two ways to go here. Never mind, make that one. Not going down there. Hmm. Is this the section where it happens? I think this might be the section where it happens. I'm running off of my very, very dated memory at this point. I suspect this is where it happens. Are these gonna close? Yep. This is where it happens. What do we have here? I don't believe you have an invitation to our little part. Just check the guest list. I'm under the section for fellows that ain't ugly freaks. Oh, Jack Walters. Your wit. Throw our jester friend here in with the lab rats. I'll deal with him on a more intimate level later. Increase the security levels. Check the area. Make sure we're alone. <sighs> Did you see that awesome monocle that Sebastian Marsh, Marsh had? That was so cool. And now I'm in prison. Mm-hmm.
Nothing of interest. Now I can do nothing but listen to the tortured screams of my cellmate and stare out at my oppressors. It's just an old chisel. Hmm. I can think of many uses for a chisel. There seems to be a sewage tunnel running below the grating. It won't open. Maybe I could... Maybe I could pry this open? Bingo! Oh my god, you look... <laughs> look at that face, holy crap. It won't open. Alright, let me save it again. Of course, I have none of my weapons. I took everything. Let's go! Alright. This will be... One of the most frustrating, or this was one of the most frustrating parts of the game for me. Actually, pro no, it, it was the most frustrating, I think. Because in this section, you go forever without finding a save point, and you have to avoid the guards with no weapons. And basically, if you mess up once, you're screwed, and you have to go all the way back to the prison. And the thing is, I don't actually remember how to solve this section. So I don't know if I'm going to do any better at it than I did before, so we'll see how this goes. See, the... Before I continue, let me just mention, this is the good and the bad thing about having sparse save points. The good thing about it, undeniably, is that when you have sparse save points, it creates tension, because you know that if you die, you are truly going to lose something. So it actually heightens the tension. However, once you do actually die, and you have to go back, it totally ruins the game, or, or that section of the game. At least in a game like this. It's because it's just frustrating. And suddenly it becomes about beating the game rather than actually just like being in the experience, if that makes any sense. It becomes very mechanical. You start to think of it mechanically. Because you're just trying to get past it. You just, you know, you're just trying to beat it. Rather than really just, you know, engage with it. So, the interesting thing about sparse save points in a game like this. Like a survival horror game, for example. Is that... It's very good for creating tension, but as soon as you actually die, it totally ruins everything. So if you can manage to get through a section like this without dying, and without having to reset, it actually makes for a very cool scene. But if you do have to reset, it's totally ruined. So yeah, it really just depends on how lucky you are and how careful you are. If you're one of the lucky people that can get through it on the first try, then it's prob you're probably going to remember it as an extremely cool scene. But if you don't, you're gonna remember it as that extremely frustrating you time, uh, extremely frustrating time you had in that one game, which is how I remember the section. We'll see what happens. I'm glad it's chained. Oh shit! Well, I guess I already failed, huh? Uh, should I just let just just kill me? There you go. I didn't think it takes him so long to kill someone with like three or four people with automatic guns and shotguns two feet away from me. Why did he come into the door when he's never done that before? It's locked. Oh, it's because when I go in there, it makes so much noise that he starts to thrash. Yep. Yep, because it was thrashing about because I came inside, so it made a bunch of noise, which made him come in. Okay, gotcha.
And now it's unlocked. I don't want to disturb him again. Oh god, listen to it. It's crying. I feel really bad for it. That's just sad. Aww. Alright, where did he go? So I'm gonna be very careful. Because if I can pull this off in one run, it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be really tension-filled. If I can't, it's gonna suck. So I'm gonna take this really slow. Nice and slow. Alright, but I don't see him. Oh. Nope. Did not mean to do that. Did he see me? He's not running after me. It sounded like he saw me. Turn around. Okay. Ammo. No weapon. Nope. Nothing of interest. The door's bolted shut. Alright, that's gonna burn me, I think. I don't know where he's going next. I think all my stuff is in here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my equipment's in there. Ooh, more ammo. Oh, apparently I'm full. Okay, they didn't take my ammo. Okay, that's weird. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Uh, is there something in here? Or is it just a dead end? I seriously can't see anything. It's just a dead end, okay. Alright. So that door's locked. That's back there. Oh, looks like you can get up there. So yeah, I need to wait for him to come back and go away, and then I'm going to go down there. Right where he's looking. Alright. Take a sip of my chai tea. Let's take this nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, there's also a pathway down there. Wait, no. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's lots of little hidden tunnels. What is that? Well, he's looking right at me if I come out, so I'm not even gonna bother checking it. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, never mind, I will check it. I don't know what that is. It looks like a feeding hatch. Oh. Do I, I... I don't have any food. Hmm. Come on. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Wow. I did not expect that. Always look where you're going. Um, is it gonna move? Well, shit. Okay. I think I need some food, maybe. What the hell is going on down there? Wait a minute, I haven't explored this, explored this full place. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm... wow. I thought I had gone gone around a full circle, but I have not. Uh, hmm. He's gonna see me if I go over there. It's really hard to avoid being seen because there's so many patrols. Uh, what? He, he seriously saw me in the dark through that little hole. What? Yeah. 
Should I save it? Are they going to give up the chase? Okay. I thought it was a while longer before you got a save point. Maybe my memory of this section is very wrong. I don't know. That was close. Alright, so it seems like if you're not in the sneak mode like this, that they see you extremely easily, even if you're, like, down in the ground through a little hole and in the dark, they still see you. Which is weird. <sighs> I'm never going to be able to close that door, am I? Okay, he's on me. That's great. Even though I was in sneak mode. Yeah, the stealth in this game um, leaves a bit to be desired, to say the least. Now I get to hear them running about before I can finally continue on my way. So even if you do take the section very slow, it's just really hard to predict enemy movements. And when they're actually going to see you, so yeah. This section kind of... kind of blows... Alright, don't close the door, he'll hear it. Well, I don't exactly have anywhere to hide. This is bad. Ah. Okay, time to run. Why did he turn around at that exact moment? I mean, really? I have no idea where I'm going. He's probably given up by now, though. I believe that was where I got captured. Uh, yes it was. Yeah, he gave up. Okay, cool. Apparently they're easy to ditch. The hell is that noise? Hmm. Looks like some kind of laboratory. It's locked. Of course. Some sort of tentacle thing. Looks like a plant, maybe? It's locked. All right, I know I need to get in there at some point. I don't know how, though. God, look at that. It's beautiful. All right, where can I go? There's a lot of patrols. There's two right there. Hmm. Are you gonna move at any point? Okay. I could go up, but the other one that just went up there, the two that are going up there are just gonna come back down. So what's the point? I don't know, I'm really curious what's up there, though. Let's see. I can always book it. Is he really not gonna see me? Oh wow. Whew. 
All right, where does this go? I don't know what. I don't know through what eyes I was. I'm not sure what creature I was seeing that vision through, but it doesn't look good. It didn't sound good. Shit. Did they see me? They did. Okay. They saw me. Thankfully, I have this little tunnel. Alright, it's gonna be a while till I get a save point again. That was close. See, like, the big problem with the stealth in this game is that there's very little, like, when it comes to stealth and avoiding enemies and stuff like that, the fun of stealth all comes from being able to predict the enemy's movements and actions and adapting yourself to them and making plans, right? You need information to be able to effectively and, uh, and uh, for you to be able to really actually enjoy and get any, any, get any engagement out of stealth, you need information. You need to be able to gather information. So games like Splinter Cell, where you're third person and can look over cover and see what enemies are doing and form your plans based on that. Or, even if you're first person, games that maybe give you a bit of a grace period where even if an enemy sees you for like a second or two, you're not instantly spotted. Right? Like they say, huh? What was that? And they go into like a semi-alert state, as in like Thief, for example, as that typically goes. So you actually have time to react, and time to form plans, and you have ability, you have the ability to gather information. However, in this game, you basically don't even know an enemy's there until you look, and as soon as they see you, you're screwed. Like, the enemy that's up there, is he looking my direction or not? I don't know, if, and if I check, and if he is looking my direction, I get seen. Okay, he's not. I'm lucky. The door's bolted shut. Of course it is. The stealth in this game is just terrible. Like, there needs to be a sort of grace period where you're not instantly seen as soon as they see you. Or something like that. Because you need to be able to gather information. And as it is, there's very little you can actually gather. Just look around a corner and hope that there's no one looking, basically. Uh, is this the direction I saw the vision from? I feel like it is. Yeah. And that looks like that tentacle plant that was in the, uh, laboratory. Laboratory? Laboratory? Whatever. Whichever one you prefer. I don't know why I said it laboratory, actually. I usually say laboratory. But honestly, laboratory actually sounds a lot more cool. Alright, well, it doesn't attack me. That's good. Uh, what did I just pick up, and what is it for? A peculiar blue plant. But, Jack. Jack, tell me. Will this peculiar blue plant keep out the freezing cold winds? Hmm? I need to know. It's very important that I know that. Alright, let's go deeper. Nothing could go wrong, right? I hear a waterfall. Probably the waterfall from my vision. Ooh, a save point. Okay, yeah, my memory of this section is totally wrong, basically won't budge. I'll need something to pry it out. Well, I guess I actually do have to pry that out. I was just trying stuff. I didn't even know I had to do that. The chisel alone won't be enough to loosen the crystal. Alright, so I need a hammer, probably. Uh, yeah, my memory of the section is, um, wrong. There's actually a lot more save points than I thought. Maybe I just really sucked at the game, so it took me forever to actually get to these save points. I don't know. Really? Did you have to make it so steep that I break my leg? 
Okay, never mind. I'm not actually hurt, but still, that hurt. Oh boy. That is quite the height. Uh, can I jump down from here, or... Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Wow. This place is actually really beautiful. Wouldn't it be so cool to be in some, like, gigantic cylindrical indoor waterfall rock place? I don't know, it just looked really cool. Again? Ah. I'm surprised I haven't broken my leg yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not going down there. Alright, well, there's a ton of pathways, and I don't know where they go. Hmm. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh my god, not the starfish. I can't avoid them. No wonder they gave me a med kit. I need something to clear a path. Uh plant? Chisel? There's too many of them. Alright, well that was a waste of health. What's behind pathway number two? Actually, I think this just goes up. That is where I came from, or... No, no it's not. Yeah, this level is very, very confusing. Oh my god, I don't... <laughs> where am I going? And why is there ammo there? Another save point. Okay, well, I guess I'm probably going the right way. The shape of the Lord are shot and shield. The outsiders have not been able to rush through the barrier. But our song is bolder. There are many gliding and trail. Excellent. Dismissed. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? We're in the middle of an invasion, and you've got our order singing hymns! You're a fool, Sebastian. I command the order of Dagon, not you. The research must be protected at all costs! I've shut the lab down, Sebastian. What? This is madness! Can't you see how far this has come? Your trivial experiments are of no concern to me. All energies must be directed at completing the translation of the tablets. The work of my great-grandfather must be finished. Take your worthless body back to shore. You are of no further use to the Order. That's not going to happen, Robert. Oh, well, this is awkward. Uh, you will um, ow. 
Is there a weapon? Here. I don't think there's a weapon. I'm just gonna run. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Please. Oh fuck. It's locked. Do I have a key? No, I, I have a plant. Is the plant gonna work? Nope. What do I do? It's no wonder they gave me a save point right before this. It's not safe. I don't have time to look at it. Lots of ammo, no Book weapons. Books and ancient manuscripts. You will be so many souls from the No, I won't. Knife. Knife. I don't think I do that. That didn't work. Yeah. Seriously, what do I do here? I have a knife. What am I gonna do with a knife? Do I just keep stabbing him? Your race is finished. It is our time now. Yeah, I'm dead. I have like uh, a million broken legs. Only one. Okay, that's weird because I can't really walk at all. Uh, take the morphine. I don't know what that does, but I just took it. Stab you! Ah, I'm dead. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, so there's a knife. Ow. It's not safe. I don't have time to look at There's no time for that right now. It's not safe. Stab the glass? Didn't work. You will kneel before Mother Hydra. Books and ancient manuscripts. Most yes, very fascinating. I've got enough problems without experimenting with witchcraft. It's locked. What the hell can I do? Stabbing him doesn't work. Okay. I'm confused. Get the knife. Maybe I do stab him? I mean, I got some hits off. You will kneel before Mother Hydra. Hmm. I'm just gonna take that preemptively. I don't think I'm supposed to kill him. No, I I don't think so. He's too big, he's too strong, and he does too much damage to me. Right, you have a knife. What do you do with a knife? You stab things. What do I stab? You will This is so stupid. What is wrong with this game? You will kneel before Father Dagon. What, what is this? Was it eating like an arm or something? It's like a slab of meat. Am I taking damage? I'm taking a bit. Not much though. Most of the damage I get from him directly attacking me. This is a bad time to heal. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. The race is finished. It is our time now. I didn't even realize it until now, but apparently if you hold down right-click, you can do like a stabby motion. Maybe you can actually get stealth kills if you did that. Am I hurt? A little bit. 
Well, that didn't work. Alright, let's get a big stab off on him. No, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. You can't hide. I still haven't taken much damage. Okay, I don't get it. Uh, I'm gonna cut to when I do get it. To when something actually happens. I don't... I don't get it. Okay, well I've done it like five times. And I still have absolutely no idea what to do. The only thing I can think of to do is just kill him, but that seems to be virtually impossible. So I'm actually going to have to look up a walkthrough for a game that I've already played through at least twice. I don't... understand. I remember being stuck here too, when I last played it. I remember getting stuck here every single time I've played this game, and now here I am stuck again. <sighs> I still love this game, but there's so much wrong with it. So what do you think the solution's gonna be? Is there something I missed in the room? Something I can press? Maybe I just need to actually kill him? Maybe the solution is that there's some way you can find a gun before you actually come here, so I'm not supposed to come here yet? I don't know. But I'm going to find out, and I'm going to present my findings and use them in action at the beginning of next episode. So, at the beginning of next episode. Wow, nice grammar. Good job, Marshall. At the beginning of the next episode. So, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.